Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I'm going to show some Happy Mail that I got recently. I'm also going to insert, you're going to see a lot of videos of me wearing this red shirt in front of my Christmas tree because I'm filming these all on the same day, uh, just for time's sake. I know I, I know what videos I want to put out this week and I know I'm not going to have any more chances to film except for today because both the boys are not in the house right now and I'm able to get some recording done and then I'm just going to put them out on different days. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to do some Happy Mail and show you guys what I was sent and um, yeah, it's always fun. <laughs> okay, I'll change it up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, the first thing that I want to show you is a card that I got. I think it's uh, Angelina, Angelina with an N, but I'm really bad at reading cursive, <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's Angelia. Angelina, I keep saying Angelia because of crochet house mouse, and it's from New Mexico, and this is a really pretty, uh, really nice note and pretty card that is homemade with a photo on it. So I got that, thank you. <laughs> Had a really cute um, stamp on it, it's Bugs Bunny. And the back of it has a sticker with uh, Briar Rose. Aurora, there you go. <laughs> I forgot what her princess name was. But then I got a package from a friend who uh, wants to stay anonymous. And they, uh, they wanted to send me a gift, which was this cart. But because they didn't, you know, they were trying to do it secret and it was on my Amazon wish list. Um, and this doesn't come to P.O. Boxes, which is my public address to you guys. <laughs> so they let me know that, um, that that was the case. So what they did do is they sent me a book that was also on my wish list. Kawaii Crochet. 40 Super Cute Crochet Patterns for Adorable Amigurumi by Melissa Bradley. <laughs> there are some super cute patterns in here. And the book, I'm just going to flip through real fast, is really cutely done. Okay, it's got the, it's separated by colors and it's got all kinds of cute patterns in it. And each of the pages have like um, like doodles. Just really cute. It's just a pretty book. The colors are pretty and the little uh, clip art type things. It's just it's just cute. See, like here's a little pencil. That's so cute. <laughs> but there's a lot of super cute um, crochet patterns in here. I might do a flip through of it in another video. Just in case anyone's curious enough to buy it. So they got me that. But they also, because they couldn't send this to me they sent me the Amazon gift card to purchase it. So I did purchase it. And also I had a little bit left over that I got a game for the boys and they know that and they were fine with that. Um, it just hasn't come yet. <laughs> it, they ship differently. But um, it's not uh, all the way put together yet and my water's on it, but there it is. It's a three tier one and it's got these cups that you can put stuff in. And it also came with hooks to hang stuff on. So that's cool. And it's just cute. I plan on putting some of my stickers that I got recently gifted to me on here. And I'm not going to lie, I wanted the pink one, but the pink one was sold out. <laughs> so I got this one that's kind of like a Tiffany blue color, which is also a pretty color. But I love this, and I'm so excited. I've been wanting one forever, and I was so excited when I got the opportunity to get it. So thank you so much. You know who you are, and you know that I appreciate it a lot. All right, the last piece of Happy Mile that I got this past week. Let me put these up here was a box that I was not expecting <laughs> and um, you already know that I got a little or advent calendar it's actually under my tree I still haven't wrapped it but I'm planning on wrapping the box um, from Jennifer she sent me 25 scrap balls wrapped up in tissue paper and a couple extra little gifts so that I can open a scrap ball every day to add to my scrap blanket which is really cool idea and I think it's really neat that she uh, thought enough to do that and I'm looking super forward to doing that that's what my vlog is vlogmas is going to be about this year is me opening that yarn and putting it into my blanket that day. I'm going to try to do that every day. We'll see. <laughs> but then this one came. I wasn't expecting it at all. When I saw it on my informed delivery, I thought it was something I had ordered because I had ordered something. And um, when I went to pick it up, I was like, okay, this box is big and heavy, so this is not what I ordered. <laughs> so I opened it. I knew who it was from by, you know, their name was on the box, obviously. And uh, we've talked some, and she's sent me some things before. But her name is Rebecca, and she's from Indiana. And so it has a note in it, which is written really nicely. Your, hand, your penmanship is like really nice. <laughs> but basically, because she knew that uh, last year I talked about how I really wished I had an advent calendar. Because it's just fun to open something every day, you know, little things. And I thought about getting my sister to make me one. Uh, you know, me buy, me give her money and her make me one. And I just never got around to doing that this year. I had planned on it, but I just, you know, corona and everything. I'm crazy. <laughs> but so she said that she has been doing this like since then, slowly like purchasing things throughout the year and um, 
for me for an advent calendar which is super cool and I, I mean like it made me so excited when I opened it and uh, I started freaking out and Devin was like wow wow what um because I thought it was fabric it was so heavy it was a heavy box and I was like someone sent me some fabric and uh it's a bunch of gifts so on top of it with the note were two ornaments they weren't wrapped so I was waiting to show them and then I'm gonna put them on the tree but this one is like a needle felt E for Ella <laughs> and it's just really pretty it's like it looks like it's needle felted I'm pretty sure it is. But now that I've showed it, I can hang it on a tree. And also, this little thing, this is supposed to be a thing that you put on your scissors. Like a decoration for your scissors. But I'm probably going to use it as an ornament. It's a sheep. With little cute eyeballs. Google eyes. <laughs> but then in the box, and I'll just show you this. They have little wooden um, tags on them for the days. So that was number one. And this is number 17. And then this, these ones I thought were cool. It's number three, and it's like a tube. And there's just all different sizes down in there. Here's a little one. <laughs> and it's going to be so fun. I've, I've left it in the box because I wanted to keep it all together, but also a couple of them have holes in them. I guess for being pat, you know, moved around. They kind of, you know, just pressure popped them. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to accidentally see them. So I just looked it around in there a little bit, you know, squished around a little, see what was in there. And uh, I'm just going to leave it all in the box. I'm going to wrap it to the way I'm going to do the other one. And that way, for Vlogmas, I can open one of these little gifts every day. And plus, I can do the yarn ball thing. So I'm looking super forward to that. Like, I can't wait for December to get here. I'm going to be so excited now, all December, even more than normal, opening these. So I appreciate this so much, Rebecca. Like, you don't even know how excited I got when I opened it and realized what it was. And, um... Jesse was a little bummed because he was hoping it was something for him because I had no idea what it was. And I talked about, you know, Christmas is coming up. He's about to get oodles of stuff. He'll be fine. Plus, I'm sure something in here might, he might be able to mess around with too. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm just so, I can't wait to rip into this. Like, time, November needs to hurry up and go away. <laughs> but I don't want to wish our time away. But I'm so excited. So now I'm going to put this back over by the tree and leave it alone so I don't accidentally rip into anything. And, uh. I'm going to be tearing into this all December. And <laughs> you guys get to watch me do it. But thank you so much to anyone who ever sends me happy mail. It's never, ever expected or required. But it does. It's, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's always good when someone thinks of you enough to send you a gift. Or um, even a card. Like the letters and cards that I get. It's just amazing. And I save every single one. I have a big tote in mine and Devin's bedroom. We actually use it as like a side table and it's just full from the whole uh three years i've been doing youtube every note and letter and card i get goes into that tote um and then the the tree actually is covered in ornaments right here's one and right here's one and there's they're all everywhere this little glass one this little this little reef this little hat this little star over here just all over the place are ornaments that were gifted to me from people who watch me and um thought enough of me to send me something and there's a really special one way up there I put it up high so that no one no one Jesse can't get it and it's a vintage Santa ornament that was sent to me and it was the person who sent it to me's mother I don't like saying people's names all the way because you know privacy but I put it way up there so that I could see it but it's um not in a danger zone but I mean my tree is just covered in pretty homemade ornaments some of them are for me, and this this walnut right here is from Billy. <laughs> I don't think she made it. She might have, but she sent me a big box of ornaments once, uh, two years ago. So a lot of those are on here, too. <laughs> and it's just so cool to have all these. This is from Billy. All these um, memories from people, you know? It's just it's nice to have a little bit of love here and there from otherwise strangers. You know, we never would have met had I not been doing YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, this having my own videos went on and on. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and clean this up and put this back up before I get tempted to rip into it. But uh, I just appreciate you guys all so much. You don't even know. This year's been so horrible, and I know it's been horrible for a lot of people, everybody. But it's just nice to know that people care about you. <laughs> and um, I just want you guys to know that I care about every one of you. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting and just keeping in touch with me. It means a lot. So, yeah. I'm going to go now before I cry. <laughs> Bye, guys.